Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Minnesota Varsity League's Sunday stream brought to you by Torrent. My name is Thunder McFadden, and I am joined by Skepter. Skep, we have seen some absolutely amazing uh, Rocket League so far today. And Very again, true. I continue to mention the implications of all of this, right? Uh, a lot of teams coming out of the day with two losses. A lot of the teams coming out of the day with a lot of, you know, a number of things to think about. You know, yeah. uh, during the break, we were just talking, saying, you know, St. John's Prep, switching up the roster again. You know, Clue looked good in a, f a couple of individual kind of like flashy plays and things like that. But yep. it's a team game. And, and at the end of the day, Spring Lake Park came out so, so good as a team. They look amazing. Everybody playing their role and everybody looking just solidified. It was as if it was as if St. John's Prep really couldn't do anything. You know, yeah. again, that's a very talented, it's a very talented squad when it comes to Rocket League. And now we're going into matchup number three. Skep Mott Varsity taking on Hill Murray. Hill Murray is a school that I mean they they won our first season, yep. right? Hands down, without a doubt, undefeated. They looked absolutely stellar. And then the second season, I think they were out in the first round. You no, know, no, no, no. Uh, or second Not, round. I think semis. Yep. They got taken they out go. by yep. Spring Lake Park is who beat yep. them, I believe. Yep. Because because they beat St. John's Prep. Right. Uh, in round number one. So, right. but dude, this is this is our first time seeing Hill Murray since their loss to mm -hmm. Spring Lake Park uh, last state tournament right, because right, right. they haven't been on stream yet this season. So we get to see the boys regardless Yep. Rocking that same three man roster that won them their first state title. And mm -hmm. frankly, I mean, that, you know, that's how it makes me happy, you know, because having having a team around that has won it in the past is always kind of cool. It, it is a talking point. It is. All right. Yeah. Hey, these guys have been there. They've done it. You know, they they are expected to be able to pull that out of the bag. Right. That is mm -hmm. it's all it's in there. Right. It's in their bag of tricks. Hill Murray boys they can they can be those kings right kings on the rocket league pitch and today's another step in in their journey right they're yep. four and oh right now mott is rocking the three and two record so for mott Amidai, this is a must win right mm -hmm. where we've been talking about must wins this is probably a must win game for the side of mott Amidai, which puts them in a predicament because mm -hmm. hill murray is top three strongest rocket league teams we have guaranteed mm -hmm. all right they're up there with spring lake park and rogers okay those are like if i have to sorry for putting the whole league on the spot i didn't think i was going to do that but like frankly those are like the three strongest teams right like we yeah. can't make it up time and history have proven and shown us why these guys are so good okay mm -hmm. rogers is something freakish i don't know what they created they those guys are made in a lab or something yeah for real anyways We'll focus on Hill Murray and Matamidi. My apologies. Oh, good. Matamidi going up against the Titans, though. Yeah, take it away. It's so true. It's so true. I mean, I think everything you made a, a ton of really fantastic points there, right? In that, you know, Hill Murray, they are champs. They have they they are every single one of those players is a state champion, right? Like, yes, they, I mean, they they have been playing together for a very long time. They are poised. They are ready to go. They are a team that never backs down, right? I was confused about their state tournament performance because I think they maybe had a hard matchup in the first round or there was something yep. like that that went down. Yeah. But either way, you know, they go from being literally, you know, state champs to then the next season, not quite being there. But here they are for the first time on stream being like, no, guys, y'all just, you're sleeping on us. You forgot about us. We're 4-0. We got yeah. breathing room. We're out here killing it. Yep, Hill Murray boys undefeated this season. And man, it it is special watching this team play Rocket League because not many teams have the three man full on synergy that you yep. see. Uh, but this is one of those teams. Hill it Murray is. is one of those teams. Rogers is one of those teams. Like to see the full extension of all three players being able to pick up right where the other one's leaving off is special, man. Yeah. And this squad has it. Yep, they do. Ooh, nice they do, they play by Otis there. The setup ball, the chib, man, and I'm already liking what I'm seeing out of the Hill Murray boys. Yeah, oh yeah. The passing plays that these guys come up with is special. It's unique. It adds a different flavor to the game, man. And Hill Murray have been pioneers, if you like what I just did there, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Pioneers in the Rocket League scene. There you go. Love it. 
Ow! Otis, Otis is gonna hey! start us off early. Crashing. Yeah, man. I mean, Hill Murray's nasty, right? Like, we just don't get to see them on stream enough. Like, right. seriously. Yeah. They yeah, like to they... keep their matters private until yeah, it's time for business. Listen, we, I mean, we've cast a, a ton of their games in the history of MNVL. Yeah. And we love casting them because they are so talented. They're just so good. Ooh, Otis, Otis gonna just force that one in. Ow! Yeah, man. I mean, pressing the issue there. Right on top of off-road Toad and Matamidi is starting to fall underneath this pressure that Hill Murray puts on you, man, because they don't stop. It's unrelenting, right? Once they realize that they can kind of play their game and do what they want, it is go time. Right? Yeah. Chip! Chip, what the heck are you driving, Chip? Batmobile, bro. Oh, sweet. That had to have been the Batmobile. I think it was just pink, so it looks kind of weird. I like it in the pink. I just hadn't seen it yet. Yeah. No, nice. that's definitely the Christian Everybody's Bale Everybody's running a Fennec Batmobile. or an Octane. Except Chib. Yep. Dude, and, and Chib was the two, uh, two eSport warrior. Rocket League and Overwatch. That's right. That's right. I remember seeing the Chib Tron out there. Yes, sir. You're not lying. He did play. Oh, yep. that's right. I love to see that. I love to see somebody play a couple eSports. That's fantastic. Yes, sir. We need more more members like you out there, Chib. Yep. Oh, Otis. Oh, oh. Up off the crossbar. A good look. Lucid. Otis now at the midfield. Chib tracking this one down. Kicks it out front. Lucid to gather. Nothing there. Off-road toad now bringing it back. Otis steps up at the midfield, though. Shot on net, Mongoose, Mike to recover. Yeah, now a little bit of a stalemate in the mid game here. Both teams kind of going back and forth, but no big opportunities coming out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, we, we've we been gassing oh, but Luce had Joe Murray a whole bunch. Oh, Luce. Oh, oh, denial by Mongoose, Mike. But Otis from up top doesn't find it. Not quite. Good defense by Mott. Yeah, we've been giving a ton of props to Hill Murray, but Mott, I mean, we know Mott is a good team. Yeah. Mott keeping them to two as well is, uh, you gotta, you know, give him some credit there. Yeah. Well, and especially oh, considering but look at this. how fast Hill Murray likes to play. Oh, there it is for Off-Road Toad. What's up? Make it 2-1, man. And this game is within striking distance now as Mott and Midai giving themselves hope yet in game number one. Yeah, they are. Listen, Off-Road Toad, these are names that we have said plenty before on the MNVL casts, right? We've seen these players before, so we know, right? Mott, again, just speaking to how competitive this league is, Mott is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hill Murray right now, and Hill Murray's not a joke. Yeah. No, Hill Murray is no joke. What a shot from Otis, just a little bit short on the angle, a good look nonetheless. Nanox trying to get a read on this ball. Nice corner shot, but it's Otis to intercept it out front. Off-road Toad trying to gather. Gets demoed by Mongoose Mike Lucid now. Trying to get a touch on it, couldn't find it. Nanox trying to look to goal. Off-road Toad now, nothing. Both squads still going at it here. Nice demo from Chib. Off-road Toad back in this zone. Ball out front, Hill Murray trying to clear. Ooh, Mongoose Mike. Oh boy. The slow roller. 20 seconds left on the clock, Hill Murray with a one goal lead. It would have to be now from the side of Mott. Ooh, a nice oh. touch. Lucid with the goal line clear. Wow, you can't make it any closer than that. I thought even with Lucid's touch, it was going to go for a second. Yeah, I thought it had the angle. But Hill Murray did their job in game number one. Mongoose Mike, though. Nice. 
play from Otis to get that off of Mongoose Mike's car. Yep. And Just that'll do it. it for game one. Whew. Drop it like it's hot. Yep. Wow. Hill Murray, but that, and listen, that was a tight game. I expected Hill Murray to score a couple more goals than that, considering how fast they play as a team, considering how high flying they are as a team, right? But no, 2 1. 2 1. The way of Hill Murray. And now, I mean, look, Mott, Mongoose Mike, Nanox, Off Road Toad, those players, they look really pretty good right now. And I don't think they're out of it yet. No, for sure not out of it. You know, game one is always kind of, you just see who gets the first strike, right? Who landed the first good look in, in mm -hmm. the fight to come, right? Because game two is when both teams kind of have read each other enough. And that's like really, game two is like such an important, I think, game in our series here because you either put yourself on match point or you're tied at one and it's like the series is at a reset phase right you're like okay two more games two more games so for matamidai to feel comfortable here i really really think matamidai need to come out and win this game because yeah. to be down 2-0 against hill murray i feel like personally is a death sentence and i don't even have to play against them so yeah, right yeah i don't disagree with you i think that right now mott but they listen they have the potential they do. They Their do. aerials are not, very yeah, good. Yeah, they do. They definitely do. I'm just saying, like, it, it is such a such a large mountain to climb well, being down 2-0 against a former state champion, especially yes. when your season is already on the line as well. Like, I you have to win. Agree. So, for sure, just trying to get them some kind of comfortability if they can pull out a uh, win in game number two here. Yep. Uchib. Wow, how did he keep that ball on his car, man? Chib with something fierce. Yeah. The the dribble in there. Oh, Nanox almost put that in his own goal. Otis with the geometry read there. That could have been nasty. No way. That wow. snipe from Lucid gets demoed and the ball explodes literally off of his car. Bam. Crazy. And crazy, Chip crazy, it crazy. Huh. That's huge for Hill Murray. Yeah, and Hill Murray right back to where they left off. Chib and Lucid going at it on the 50s, and we're even across the board to start it off on the faceoff. Such a good matchup here. All three games today have been so, so much fun. And it, yeah. it's just getting me anticipating and waiting this uh, Rocket League state finals and every state final, you know? Mm -hmm. First week of December is gonna be madness. So, I mean, I'll keep saying it. Everybody's gotta be there. Yep. yep. Mark it down now, like do what you gotta do. Take care of your plans in advance. Tell your boss you're gonna need some time off. Tell, tell your teachers to give you the extra homework now. Get it out of the way. Yeah. Whatever it yeah. takes. It's state finals time. We don't yep. mess around. Oh, off-road off toad, don't mess around either. Up. Tied up at once. Nice ball from Nanox into the corner, right onto the hood of off-road toad. That was a beautiful passing play out of the two of them. Yep. Shout out to those two. What a sleek play to pull that one off against Hill Murray too. Yeah, for real. Sheesh. Yep, that's good ball control out of off-road toad. I told you this squad, I mean, they're, you know, uh, look, they're three and two. Their record doesn't match up necessarily the way uh, er, as impressive, obviously, as as Hill Murray's undefeated record, but this is a very good squad. We remember yep. him from last season. Mott can yep. come. The Mott can play, right? Yeah, they know what they're doing, and they practice too. Yeah, no, Mott and Midai, definitely a solid squad. Nothing, no slouch in their own respect. You know, very strong team. It's just Hill Murray is so tough. Oh, Nanox off the roof. Not roof. I meant backboard. That was troll. Yeah. Uh, Chib though, bringing this one back towards midfield. Off the post wow. now from Otis. A little bit closer of a shot, man. Any much more to the left, that one goes in, right? Like, yeah. saved by the post from Matamidai on that one. And we're approaching the two minute mark now. Yeah, you said it. Even my dogs are hyped for this tie. Oh, this, yeah. I mean, this action, we, we expected this to be relatively tight, but Again, Hill Murray, with as stout as they have been all season and throughout their history in MNVL, 
you know, you would expect them maybe to be, have a little more commanding lead at this point over Mott, but again, Mott, a very, very, very good squad, even for as fast oh, as they like to play. Nanox gonna take the lead! Look at the shades on that Fennec. Woo! Nice ball from off-road Toad, and leaves it to his man Nanox to finish the job, and that was a beautiful shot. Boom. That's great. Picture that perfect. Really great. You said it, there's those shades. Looking too cool. Too fly. Chib now up top. Hail Murray down one now. In an interesting position. Otis with the save. Now it's on Hail Murray to kind of turn this one back around. And right away we start to see some sort of a passing play start to develop. But no finishing product. Off road toad. Off what road was toad. That? Wow. I mean, a demo. Yeah. A touch and a get demo. Get right in the middle, says, no, get out of the way. I'm sending this in. Yeah, what? listen, oh. you ain't touching that. That is honestly game changing, and that might have just stolen away game number two here. Two goals now with just over a minute. It's plenty of time for Hill Murray to work with, but now to be down two with just over a minute on the clock, that's got to be a tough spot to be sitting in. Yeah, and especially with the way that this Mott Varsity team has been playing, right? They're matching Hill Murray on the ground and in the air, right? Yes. Every challenge is there. So Hill Murray, they're not gonna just have- Oh, oh. that was, Woo. oh my goodness. Woo. That was beautiful. Yep. That play out of Chib and Otis was something magical. That's what a beautifully guided shot. Yep, classic Hill Murray. Yep, those type of really, it. really fast really really fast pass plays coming off the side and finding somebody on the mid that is it's absolutely classic, classic hm yo oh yep a hundred percent of the time hill murray been making those plays since uh season one yeah they have been circa 2020 Whew. three two now, Hill Murray still down one. Nanox oh. shot on that and a beautiful save for Lucid. Very much needed. Chib trying to bring this ball back now. Gets denied, but Lucid with a touch into the corner. See how they play off it now. Mongoose Mike gets denied. Ball out front. Lucid tries to put it on net. And struggling to get the clear. But as I say that, look at this move out of off-road Toad. No oh boost though. Wow, oh, Toad. Toad. What is that? Catches the boost. It gets a positioning. What oh, a beast, my. Bro. No way. The Toad. Yeah. The Toad is popping the off toad, right now. Yeah, the Hat Toad trick. above and beyond in game number two. Taking it away from Hill Murray, man. There's no way they get two in these five seconds. And yeah, man, that's off-road Toad all, every day of the week coming yep. out with a banger and stealing away game two and making it a series. We're tied up 1-1 now. Yep. Yeah, give it up for the Toad. Wow. Wowza. That was... This not varsity squad. They are not taking any nonsense yeah. at all right now. That play from uh, Off-Road Toad, man. The demo on Lucid to let that ball go in for the third yep. goal. Spectacular. I mean, and just kind of like, just kind of, I mean, with this sassy little style too, you know, just like gets that demo and lets the ball just roll in real slow. Like, oh yeah, so many, man. so many nice goals. That one right wow. there out of off-road toad. I mean, dude, so many exceptional goals from him in that yep. game and tied up at one now going into game three. And this is that, that series reset that we get into, right? So one, mm -hmm. one. Both teams now got a chance to get a good look. They know what they're up against. They know kind of how these teams are playing. And now it's really on to whoever whoever's taking this map, map three, right? Like, seriously, somebody's got to come out and grab this series, right? Because now it's up for grabs, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, it's 1-1 it's one, one right here. Mod Varsity, like we said, sitting at 3-2 and two, and Hill Murray at 4-0 and oh on the season. We may very well... Watch Mott Varsity turn this thing around against the champs, right? We got to remember, Hill Murray, they're state champs. They know, they know oh, what it's Jimmy. like to hold the trophy, right? Yep. Nanox with a beautiful denial to start out game number three here. Yeah, Hill Murray know what it's like to be there, know what it's like to get the job done. And frankly, probably looking for another, you know? Chib, off-road toe denies. 
and comes up with another save. Wow, man. Two shots, two saves. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, both teams just going at it right now. Hail Murray kicking it out front. Chib not able to find it. And Chib had some opportunities, but not getting the best looks so far. But as I say, that post from Chib, man, unlucky. Yeah, post I don't know get what you. it is. I don't, I don't know what post it is. Post again about. from Chib. Post again. Yeah, man, it's bad luck for Chib. Yeah. That's what I think. He's had bad luck this this uh, set so far. Yeah, they're just they're uh, the opportunities for Hill Murray seem so few and far between, really. Yep. Yeah. Mott is scoring when they get their opportunities, and Hill Murray just aren't getting enough looks. It seems you know they're starting right. to find a way to slow down their offense a little bit, I which think is maybe... rare to say. Maybe at the end of the day, it's a little bit about like ball control, not ball handling, but ball control, right? Maybe Mott is just spending more time handling the ball and controlling the kind of pace and direction of the game itself and whatever. But yeah, Hill Murray just, it really doesn't seem like they are, are able to even create opportunities for themselves. Mott playing such great defense and offense all at once. Yeah, I love that touch out of Lucid. Well, Big long clear, but trying to bring it back now. Out of boost. Otis centers it to Chib. Over to Otis again. A nice little give and go. Hill Murray starting to try to get something going. Two minutes thirty on the clock. Game three is the defensive battle that normally game two fills the role of. Yeah. But game three is where we're catching it right now because both these teams have been going at it nonstop. Chib with five shots, Thunder. Right? Like, those are big numbers. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, when you have this many opportunities. Oh, there it is. Otis, get one. Oh, Otis oh, from oh, Chib. Three minutes in. Nice setup ball from Chib. Off road toad goes off the backboard and Otis. Been here too many times. Knows exactly what to do with that octane. Gets up. Slaps that ball down, gets the job done. 1-0 Hill Murray. Two minutes, 14 seconds on the clock here in game number three. Beauty. Beauty. Good stuff for Hill Murray. They are definitely, definitely breathing a little bit easier after that goal. Uh, but they cannot, they cannot let anything slip at this point because Mott, they're out for blood. I mean, yeah. Mott is ready to play. <laughs> no, Mott is no joke. Otis stepping up. Trying to get some kind of a read, kicks it out front. Wow, man. Both squads are right there in it with each other. And that oh. ball's going in the net. Otis with the wow. freebie. Yeah. The deep ball. What happened there? I mean, sometimes that'll just happen, right? Like sometimes your team's just out of possession. That's one of those times for Monomedi, but no harm, no foul. I mean, you're down 2-0 now to Hill Murray, so kind of tough to call this one back with only a minute 38 to go, but it is doable. Certainly is. Certainly is. And I trust I trust Mont to give themselves opportunities. It's just about capitalization, right? You know, making yeah. making the most of it and making sure that Hill Murray, which again, such a fast squad, such a high flying squad, making sure that they don't take control back from you. Yeah. No, I completely agree with you. You know, Hill Murray is such a team, you know, that when they have that momentum and that lead, they, they play so well with it. They kind of bury you in under their goal lead and they keep that pressure on the entire time. They don't really want you to kind of gather your feet or regain stability. Right. 50 seconds on the clock, down two goals on the side of Mount Amidai. Comeback has to start now. 40 yeah. seconds remain. They cannot waste oh. any more time, and Mongoose Mike goes for Golba Chib. A huge save to start it out. The play continues. Ball set in the corner. Off-road toad now. Having a go at it. Tries to center it. Mongoose Mike gets a oh demo. Boy. Otis goes for the clear. Oh. And it's out of harm's way for now. Off-road toad still working. Still fighting. Matamidai. Not out just yet. 20 seconds, so surely going to run out of time momentarily if they can't very soon. 
Yeah, they gotta knock it in here. Definitely have to. Oof. Um, yeah, this looks like it's gonna go the way of Hill Murray, but yep. uh Mott, I think at this point they obviously they've got the work cut out for them, but they have an idea of what they need to do. You know what I mean? They they definitely they see what Hill Murray's bringing. Hill yeah. Murray's not scoring a ton of goals on it. They're not. They're not putting up a, like an extra. Oh! Notice to end Why it not? with a hatty man. It it's zeros. only right. Hill Murray with a clean, clean showing in game number three, and Otis Nets three. All yeah, three. Like that. Wow. Yeah. Wow, what's up? Hill Murray showing up, man. Yeah. Pushing it to match point now. Five centered balls there out of Otis. That was huge. I mean, this squad, as we said, they're a championship squad, right? Yep. They know what it takes, and they know that whether they're down or not, you know, things aren't over. So I would not expect for Hill Murray to let off really at all. Um, I think that Hill Murray at this point, they're going to keep the pressure on. And they're going to try to score as much as humanly possible without without sacrificing too much defense. I think that I think that in this next game, there's a potential to see a ton of scoring out of Hill Murray. It's series point. You know? Yeah. And and at that Hill Murray, they want it and they want it bad right now. You can tell. Yeah. I mean, Matamita, I definitely face it down elimination right like there's no other way to put it three losses we've talked about it we know what that means what what comes with that mm -hmm. almost to guarantee that you're not gonna be in playoffs so it's right here it's right now mata Midai. if your playoff hopes are going to continue you have to start combating these kings you took yep. away one game but one game will not be enough to to dc you know dethrone the season one kings yep yeah, it's not going to be enough. It's going to take a massive effort here out of this Mott squad uh, to basically put Hill Murray in their place. You know, when Hill Murray, when they get pushed around and knocked around on the field, what they a face shot out of the Knox, man. Crossbar yeah. down, doesn't go their way. Unlucky to start it out for Mata Midai. Nice defense out of Chib, though. Ooh. Yeah, certainly. Being a nuisance, oh. too. Nanox trying to chase this one down. Otis. Nice clear. Beats one defender. Beats two. Has a chance to go for three. Picks up that boost. Nice challenge there out of Otis. Oh, that's a dangerous ball from Lucid. Oh, Chib just missing on it. Nice denial by Off-Road Toad, though. Yeah. Off-Road Toad is a good player. For sure. Oh, very good and player. you see it. I mean, you see it. Look, uh, and, and everybody on this mod squad, you know, they can they can really hold their own. But Off-Road Toad is one of those players that's just kind of all over the place in this really gritty, like, just fast. Wait, there wow, it is. There's a the goal. Toad. What did it say? Oh, what right a there. pass out front from Mongoose. Mike, yep. Just gives it to him right out front. Mongoose sees his teammate right here, passes it, and he's gone. He's like, finish the job for me, brother. Yep. Off-Road Toad always in it. Always up to something. Imana Midai striking first today. They want a game five. They want they a game sure five. Do. They don't want the Rocket League action to end today. Yeah, I mean, you can say that again. I think we're on the same page, too. Yeah. I'd love a game I mean, five right this here. This has been fun. These teams have been going Ooh. at it. Hill Murray down one. The pressure will not go quietly, though. You can count on that. Hill Murray will continue to bring it. Yeah. Oh, Chip yeah. Oh, yeah, finally Chip. getting on the board. It's been a minute, but Chib strikes from the sidewall. And nice placement wow. on that shot down to that right corner. Yeah. Yeah, you're just not defending that. Chib coming through with that pink accented Batmobile. Man. Good stuff. Good stuff out of Chib and this Hill Murray squad to tie it up. Yep. Always dangerous, this Hill Murray squad. Always dangerous. And like oh. I said, oh. Chib going for two. Set up from the man Otis. Nice play out of Chib right there. Two 
2-1 now. Thunder, Hail Murray have the lead again, just like that. I mean, that's pretty nuts. Yep. Yep. I mean, Mott looked so good. They came out so strong. And then Hill Murray just showing why, again, why they are champs. But then... Oh, Thunder Spike going to take one off him and tie it up. Yo, look yeah. at that. Oh. Yep. Showing why they're champions and then showing why we don't triple commit right afterwards. Nope. Mongoose Mike. They're but tied up explosion. again. Love ya. Tied up again. Love that goal. <laughs> Yeah, man. Chib wins the draw. Lucid going in, trying to track that down. Insta cannot find it. Yeah, what a good series we have between these two squads. And all day, the Rocket League has been next level. Yeah, you know, these these teams, they're getting more comfortable with themselves. They're getting more comfortable as a squad. They're getting more comfortable on stream. Otis, oh, Otis. was that, Thunder? That was scary stuff out of Otis. Touches, yep. goes. Flying off wow. the backboard to himself underneath the goalie, man. What yep. a stylish beauty of a goal out of Otis, man. 3-2 and the lead is back in favor of Hill Murray with two minutes and 16 seconds left on the clock, man. Yep. That's the kind of goal you practice in free play with your boost on on yeah. full. You know what I mean? You just when you're out there practicing just at full blast all the time. They say that makes a lot of difference. And Otis showing why. Showing why. Oh boy. Nice shot from Chib, but denied by Mongoose Mike. And we're at the minute 50 mark, Thunder. Only a one goal lead. Blue cars coming. It's oh, it's not off one code for the tie. All tied up at threes. Just under two minutes of play left. What a goal yep. from Toad. Beaten Chib. The toe. Top left. Man, what? I, I keep saying it. Off road Toad. What a difference maker. What a difference yeah. maker for this team. No, for sure. I mean, been involved in so many important plays throughout the series. The entire and, time. You know, I'll say this too. Off-Road Toad, a player that I've seen a ton of improvement out of too. When we first started casting Off-Road Toad, I did not see this same type of aerial plays, this type of finesse. Oh, oh this. Is gonna take the lead! How does this player continue to find these shots, these looks, man? Otis with one wheel on it. Jeez. What a snipe, man. Unreal. Give him a break, Otis. Yep. Hill Murray. I mean... Hill Murray, this is how they play. They play with speed. They play they in do. your face. That's always the way they've played. You know, and if we go back to that first MNBL season, they were just leaps and bounds ahead of everybody as far as skills, so they were flying all over the place. And now, oh, oh this. Yes. And that's, but they going to seal it right there. Yeah, that might have sealed it, honestly. Right as Otis, Netsahadi. Last they move. Mongoose Mike tried to pinch it and send it, but pinched it into his own net on accident. Yeah. Now with a minute 14, man, this is trouble. Hale Murray can just hold on to this if they want. This team has been there, done oh. that. I thought the Toad was going to get an easy one right yeah. there. Nope, denied. Hale Murray not going to give any more freebies. Nope, nope. They nope. already Dang. gave away that triple commit, and it's rare enough to see Hale Murray give away a mistake like that. So right. you can count your blessings, uh, Mott Varsity, but I don't think Hale Murray are giving out any left. So Nope. You kind of run out of chances here. 5-3, 40 seconds. Matamidi Varsity needs to score two goals now or their season is coming to an end right here, right now. Yeah. That's just the state of the matter. Yep. And it's 30 seconds now. And they have no boost to play with. Hill Murray's still in control and, and that's that is it. it. That is it. Yep. Boom. Hill wow. Murray extend to a 5-0 record, chasing another state title. I mean, it would be something else if Hill Murray could make a run and compete for the state title. Haven't run into Rogers uh, yet this season. The only team I think that really, I mean, will for sure give Hill Murray problems. I mean, there's a lot of teams that can give Hill Murray problems, right? And take a yep. series win. But Rogers is like kind of the new the new d demon, right? Like that's yep. really the only way to put it. Hill Murray take it.
it was a great series while it lasted, Mata Midai. You gave it your all, but it's not to be. As Mott fall to three and three, Hill Murray rise to five and zero. Oh. And in chasing that other title, Thunder, I think they are well on their way to be being, you know, solid, solid competitors. Yeah, they are. They are. I'm just looking at the league spot here. Uh, and it's true. Rogers, Rogers, Hill Murray, and Minnetonka. Those three teams right now, those are the teams that are still undefeated. Those are the teams that are coming in the strongest. Uh, as we look at kind of this path to the state tournament uh, and to this, you know, what will be the third state title in the history of Minnesota, Minnesota Varsity League. So, I mean, wow. Wow. Out of Hill Murray, you know, they were yeah. they were down at a couple of points, but never, ever, ever, ever out. Uh, that's the type of uh, that's the type of gameplay that we have seen out of Hill Murray Rocket League historically. Uh, I really hope that we get to interview one of these guys because, you know, we've been casting them for so long and the way that they have played throughout, again, the entire history of MNVL as you and I know about it and have participated in it and all of that. Yeah. They've been one of these schools that just like kind of they, you know, they walk, uh, they walk softly and carry a really big stick, right? They just, yeah. they're not. They're not in your face. They're not like, you know, they're not talking. They're not, you know, there's nothing flashy about it. It's all Gandalf business all day. Saying, <laughs> it's Gandalf. just like, like, it's it. like, we're here to play. A wizard arrives precisely when he needs to and not a minute prior or whatever he said. Yeah. But hey, man, let's get to it. Let's get to a break. Let's figure out which one of these studs on Hill Murray we're bringing in for the interview. And yeah. We'll go from there. Love it. Love it. Love it, folks. Thank you so much for being here. We are confirmed. We are going to interview one of the Hill Murray players here after this break. It has been Minnesota Varsity League Sunday brought to you by Torrent. Folks, don't go anywhere after a brief break. We'll be back with the interview and our send off. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you shortly.